Hello friends, if you're new, welcome, why don't you go down and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any episodes. For my fans and subscribers, welcome back, I do appreciate you. Today we're talking about our path to religion and the emergence of the arts. Not much else I need to say, let's get on with the video. About 40,000 years ago, one of the new behaviors that modern Homo sapiens began to show was the arts. The advent of the arts, particularly the visual arts, represents the beginnings of something that set modern humans apart from other animals and humans. The visual arts appeared at the very beginning of human society. And since writing did not exist then, this is the closest thing to a record that we will ever have of this time period. Some have questioned whether modern Homo sapiens were indeed the first hominins to display art. Some Neanderthal experts have claimed that these hominins used perforated teeth and bone as pendants, made ivory figurines, and even modified flint to resemble masks. However, even if these turn out to be authentic, the paucity of such items suggests that this type of symbolic expression was not a significant part of Neanderthal behavior, whereas the production of visual art by modern Homo sapiens was an explosion of creativity. We find multicolor cave paintings, engravings, clay models, and sculptures. Most of the cave paintings from this time have been found in France and Spain. Equally impressive is the abundance of this art, given that the estimated population of France, 22 thousand years ago was only two to three thousand with all of Europe having only an estimated population of ten thousand. The earliest major cave paintings found today are the Chauvet cave paintings dating to about thirty six thousand years ago and the drawing of a pig like animal found on Sulawesi dating to at least thirty five thousand four hundred years ago. This era of cave art thrived for over 20,000 years, with more examples in Ultima 14,000 years ago. The art in Ultima is more recent and dates to 14,000 years ago. The last cave art found today are in the Levanzo and Adara Caves in Sicily, dating to 11,000 years ago. After this, the tradition seems to have disappeared in Europe. Around the time cave painting started, humans began carving the earliest known sculptures. In the German Alps, archaeologists have found ivory figurines dating to 35,000 to 40,000 years ago. The figurine of a woman found here is a forerunner to similar female figurines carved over the next 10,000 years. These figurines, called Venus figurines, have been found across Central Europe. The most famous was found in Willendorf Cave in Austria, covered in red ochre, adorned with bracelets, and sported an elaborate hairstyle. These are actual pictures of Venus figurines from the past. And basically you can tell the people made them out of whatever they could find. These figurines have common features such as exaggerated hips, breasts, and vulvas. Thus researchers assume these were associated with fertility or food surplus. In addition to Venus figurines, sculptures of animals have also been found dating to this period. The subjects have 
Of these works were often mammoths and lions, but bears, horses, and bison were also sculpted. Bone flutes, the first known musical instruments dating to 42,000 years ago, were also found. For some time, experts thought that there was a progression in art from simpler to more complex forms. This turns out not to be true. However, we do find increasing production of visual arts during this period, seen everywhere Homo sapiens settled. By 15,000 years ago, people routinely decorated weapons and other artifacts with carvings of patterns and animals. Cave art has three main themes, animals, human handprints, and geometric figures, with animals being the most prominent. The choice of animals differs by cave, but the majority of animals depicted were those that were hunted. No landscapes are included, just animals. It should be noted that artists of this time period tried to depict these animals as realistically as they could. These realistic depictions seem to indicate keen awareness and observation of these animals and their habitat. In fact, some of them are even better than modern artists. The artistic excellence of these artists is also impressive. The natural contours of the cave walls have at times been used in the ark. At Chauvet, a rhinoceros horn follows a curve in the wall. About 20,000 years later, the ceiling of the Altamira cave has a painting dated to 14,000 years ago, consisting of 21 bison outlined and shaded in black engraved in the limestone. It has been called the Sistine Chapel of the Paleolithic. Human figures in cave art are relatively rare and crude, often amounting to no more than stick figures. In Alaska Cave, only one human figure appears among 915 animals. Among portable art like figurines, human figures are much more common. Another type of figure that we find in cave art of this period is a combination animal slash human called an anthropozoomorph, much like the Minotaur. However, many of these are ambiguous. The best known of these is in trois Frere cave in France, dating to about 15,000 years ago. For some reason, even though human figures are rare in cave art, human handprints are quite common especially in earlier cave paintings. Chauvet Cave has the largest collection found to date, now faded and looking like red dots. Experts sometimes refer to this explosion of its symbolic and material representation about 40,000 years ago that occurred at approximately the same time all around the world as the human revolution. However, was this really the case? Other experts disagree. As evidence, they point out that many developments described as occurring 40,000 years ago have been seen 40,000 to 60,000 years earlier, including bone tools, fishing, human burials, and body ornamentation. These experts argue that these behaviors have been gradually accumulating for 200,000 years. 
The champions of this position are McBrearty and Brooks. They are correct in asserting that some behaviors have been seen thousands of years earlier, but they were much less common. In addition, most experts agree that a human revolution did take place, representing an explosion in human creativity. Well, friends, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, press the subscribe button, and if you want to know when I come out with new content, hit the bell next to the subscribe button. My Twitter, Discord, email, and PayPal links are in the description, along with the source that I used for this episode. If you wish to get in contact with me, the best way is Twitter. Next best is email. Also, if you would, please leave comments down in the comment section. Not only do I love hearing from you, but it also triggers the YouTube algorithm. If you have any requests, you can leave those down there as well. If I do not respond, I am not trying to be impolite. It's just I'm very busy. Keep learning and searching for truth. Here are a few videos from my library. If you have not watched them yet, go ahead and watch them and tell me what you think. Until next time, friends, stay safe and goodbye.